Hey there traders, this is Chris Keen from keenpointofview.com and this is Currency Watch. It was an interesting day of trading today as many of the majors uh, moved lower right from the get-go. We're going to see the Aussie and the New Zealand around 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock Eastern Time uh, made, a, made a push lower after testing the highs of their current ranges and are finishing the day is very uh, near major supported resistance levels and trying to break out of the current ranges that have contained them for quite some time. And also the uh, pound and the euro have followed suit after uh, uh, President Obama at 1.30 Eastern Time uh, delivery speech hoping to bring lawmakers together to avoid the physical cliff. But we also had a release of the FOMC minutes uh, at 2 o'clock which suggested that uh, the, the government is considering additional quantitative easing uh, after Operation Twist expires next month. So this leaves us in an interesting situation heading into the uh, end of the week and we could have a few setups. Oh, we also should take into account that the UST, uh, the JPY uh, yen crosses have been moving higher as it has been uh, speculated that there could be a dissolution of the House of Parliament and that would require a new round of voting in that particular uh a new, a new round of elections, which a government that favors additional easing, which uh, weakening the uh, yen, could come into power in the near future. So that could push, could continue to push the yen pairs higher. Let's take a look first at the Aussie USD. As you can see, the Aussie uh, has pushed higher throughout the day, and it's currently sitting right about at the uh, 55th at 103.86, and it's also sitting on ascending trend line support here at 103, uh, 103.80 area, and it looks as though the pair uh, is challenging these lows right into the end of the day but it hasn't had the momentum to push lower and it will be key heading into Asian and European trading to see what kind of price action we get at these levels and see if we get a, a continued push lower or if we get a bounce from these levels and we could see a push higher and then right back into this this wedge like uh, realm but if we do break below and get below the, uh, the trend lines here we could be on our way to 103 followed by 102.35 uh, the next pair we're going to take a look at is New Zealand because it's very similar you can see that pair is broken down to the very bottom of its range and it has support scattered between 81 and 8080. But if we get below that, which is a free fall to 80, then followed by 7910. So, but if we get a bounce here, we'll have resistance right again re re relatively quickly. Uh, I, we could say the 8150, but I would be more concerned about the 82 level. And the 82 level uh, could be the first level of major resistance from there. And the next pair we're going to take a look at is the Great Britain USD. Just because you can see the pound has firmly established itself below the 50 pivot 159.03, but you can also see that it's sitting right on the two. 200 day moving average which currently comes around at 158.40 so the price action in this level is going to be important and any move down to the bottom of the fib range of 158 could find about pop um could find buyers about for a push back higher uh with this pair uh, the, there's a lot of a uh a lot of support levels scattered very closely here, so the price action could be erratic, and it would take a complete break of the 158 level to open up the pair for an additional move lower. But we could find a bounce at this level and a push higher back towards 50 fib. Uh, the last pair we're going to take a look at is the Euro USD because it's battling its own battle right here between the uh, support at between 127.34 and 127.50. Uh, and um, if we get a bounce back up from this level, we could see a push up to the 128, so forth, and 129. But if the pair continues to fall, we could definitely move down towards the support level around 126.40, followed by the 126.02. Things should be getting interesting heading into the end of the week. And in tonight's trading and Thursday's trading, we have the release of the German GDP and the Euro CPI report, and then followed in North American by the USD CPI. All right, all these charts and so forth are up on the blog. Everybody, good luck trading. And this, uh, remember, keep your trades keen and to play it safe. And this is Currency Watch.